Hello. Hello. We're back. This is floss tube number 38. And it... <laughs> And it is May 22nd, 2024. Yeah. Hello and welcome. We're so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Excited to share. We've been doing a lot of we stitching. Have yes. We have been. And it's been a while and we understand, but it's just the way it works for us. Yep. <laughs> so we're excited to be here with you today. Yep. So uh, we are Shine, Sparkle, and Stitch. This is Holly. And I'm Anita. This is Anita. So, it's and we're good. besties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what has been going on? Life update. Well, since we last saw you, was it December? I think it was December that we last saw you. Mm -hmm. Since then, I turned 50. Woo! Isn't that? Woo! Okay, where's, I, where's the tiara? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to bring it out. I have a really it was, cool It was tiara. really cool. Best birthday ever. Best birthday ever, hands down. Surprise. A, yeah, total surprise. total surprise. Surprise party. My sister flew in and shocked the pants off me. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And they had been planning this for months. Like, okay. no one spilled the beans. No one. I was so shocked. I, th I just thought the surprise was that my sister was here. Totally had no idea. The following day, they throw mm -hmm. this surprise party for me and I didn't even I talked to Anita maybe an hour or so before the party started more yeah I'm like yeah I'm at the grocery store I was probably in the car on the way over what the mm -hmm. heck I didn't yeah. I didn't have a clue she, yeah nothing I, mm -hmm. mm -mm. we were talking about the next night which was actually because when we were talking and I was at the grocery store it was the day before my birthday so they had the party the day before yeah no clue. It was, it was so much fun. It was, it was fun. a blast. Yeah. And you know what? Like, I say 50, and I think, well, what? <laughs> How is this possible? Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's not bothering me. Mm -mm. It's funny how, like, you get to this point, and you're like, I'm just so thankful to be alive. And, you know, like, we just need to live our lives to the fullest and enjoy every second. And I'm, yeah, I'm blessed. So... It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yes. It was so good. Best birthday ever. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Totally. So my mug today is 50 and fabulous. <laughs> oh. It, oh, it does say it on this side. Yeah. And mine says. I guess mine is on both sides too. But first, coffee. Oh yes. Which we are so, drinking. Holly gave me this uh, uh, at Christmas. <laughs> So. I thought it was so cute, little little um, sweater mug. <laughs> it's so cute. So, uh, and then mm, I don't want to go month by month, but uh, mm. I am now a grandmother, a Grammy of two. <laughs> so that is so super exciting, and the fact that they live fourteen minutes away, perfection. Yeah, perfection. Just love it, and uh, yeah, that that's where a lot of my time goes. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Yeah, they are precious. Mm -hmm. and Grandchildren. We have had some trips. Yeah. Yeah, we've gone on some trips. I've been in Texas, mm -hmm. um, Florida, and at the uh, June, beginning of June, I'm heading to Oregon for a couple weeks. So that's, well, that's plans, but yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> And you? Oh my goodness. I got to go on a cruise with my sister and my mom in April, at the end of April. Mm -hmm. um, we took a cruise. We love to go to the Caribbean. We love the ocean and the sunshine and the warm weather. So we had stops in the Bahamas and San Juan, Puerto Rico, which we've been to the Bahamas and San Juan before, but it, it's who cares? It's beautiful. And then we went to St. Thomas, which was new for my sister and I. And oh, beautiful beautiful mm. we just had a fabulous tour guide in St. Thomas my heart went out to him because I St. Thomas is one of the U.S. Virgin Islands but I feel like those Virgin Islands are kind of ignored basically it's kind of what you get from the people they can't even vote you guys they cannot mm. even vote for president is that not the mm. dumbest thing ever like they're not on the mainland so they don't let them vote 
dumb. So they're just, yeah, I felt bad for them. My heart went out to them, but wonderful people, beautiful. The ship was amazing. We were on a princess cruise this time. The love boat. <laughs> da, da, da. Totally takes me back. That was can't miss TV for me growing up Saturday night. Right? Love boat TV on. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Had so yep. yeah, it was fun. So yeah, that's here we are. Life update. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Oh, I've been stitching a ton. You have I've too. I've been stitching. She doesn't feel like she's been stitching a ton, but I think she has. Well, because it's been a while, a, a lot of what I have, I've already put away. It's in my to-be-finished pile. Two things are on a table being finished. I didn't bring it all today. Um, but... Most of what I've been working on is on my Instagram account, uh, Shine Sparkle Anita. So if you want to see all the finishes, that's where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like my running diary. Yeah. Like it's really, it's been really good. The other thing I use is, this is my um, notebook, my stitchy notebook. And um, there's the bat. So, and I have different sections, like the whips from 2023 that I carried over, a list of Lizzie Kate ornaments, a coffee section, 24 starts for 2024, <laughs> 24 finishes for 2024. <laughs> hey, I, I, I can aim high, right? Right. Uh, I've got all sorts of different sections, including like acronyms, uh, and then a big section of notes. I love so it. So when I watch somebody's floss tube video or something, I'll just jot down little things to remember. I love that you're putting so, little stickers and stuff in there too. Like I'm seeing the fla mm -hmm. fractor flowers. Mm -hmm. I was like, where did you get that? I would love that sticker. Mm -hmm. So so pretty. Right. There's the whip list I carried over from yeah. 2023. So this is kind of like... Um, a version of um, the book of days mm -hmm. except you're just making it work for you like mm -hmm. you're not doing like a calendar and oh there's some more you're adding your dates over. but as I finish them I highlight it and put the date love it so making good progress and I like the size of this yeah. it's just easy to throw into a project bag or uh, throw into a tote it's just very easy cute for me. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Feel inspired. I think I need to do it. I kind of forgot you started that. Mm -hmm. I need to yeah. do that. So uh, we have finishes, like I said. Yes. Shine Sparkle Anita, but I do have a couple here, and you have some really oh, pretty ones. Shine Sparkle Holly has been <laughs> MOA <laughs> or MIA from Instagram. What is my Problem. People want to see what I'm stitching and I'm not showing you and I'm so sorry. So you'll have all kinds of exciting surprises today because mm -hmm. I've been stitching a lot. So you need to show yours first because okay. we, if you remember, there, yeah. for Anita's birthday, she decided, because it was her 60th birthday mm -hmm. last year, so she decided to do six yep. Blackbird each decade. Blackbird designs. Mm -hmm. And I did the same. I did five for each decade. Um, for my 50th. So mm -hmm. she's so, got a few of those to share. Two days before my birthday, I finished the <laughs> this <sixth> one. <laughs> like the first four, I just ripped out. Like it was done, like instant change out. Like it was done, <laughs> done, done, done. And then all of a sudden, it's just like do, 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 do. And then I don't know, my birthday snuck up on me. <laughs> and I got to the point, I, I'm like, I've got to get this done. I've got to get it done. Because I would have felt really rotten if yeah. I hadn't had it done. So two days beforehand. <laughs> you were I, booking it. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, two of the, the finishes come from Sweet Land of Liberty. So these two up here. And here they are. So. So sweet. There's one. And you altered that one a little bit. Talk about what you did with that. Hmm. I don't remember. You took oh. the 17th. Oh, I one. did. Yeah. Oh, I do. See, now here. <laughs> okay, so other. when you see this one, it's in a round, and it mm -hmm. says 1776 to help round it out, and I am going to just finish it as a square, small pillow. So I took that out. But I really do like 
the font used, so mm -hmm. I will find somewhere else to put that. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is this one, and it turned out really super cute. Mm -hmm. They're both adorable. There are four more that were finished, but like I said, I, I don't have everything here with me. Well, I think it's different. Like, Anita always comes to my house to film, so I've got everything here, mm -hmm. you know, but when you're carting it over. Mm -hmm. And with so many months passing. Right, and you that's know? it. I just got, I just, you know, I start collecting and then I put it away. And then I mm -hmm. collect and I put it away. So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it is all good. So those are two finishes that's the two finishes I'm sharing with you today. <laughs> and that's funny because I have two finishes as well. So. All right. Let's very excited. see them. Okay. So um, one of them is a birthday fin. One of my birth, one of my five birthday start finishes. Mm -hmm. And then another one is not. I'll, I'll show you the other one that's not first. Actually. That one was a surprise for me. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay. So this pattern I got, um. Well, I gave it to my husband to give to me for Christmas because, <laughs> you know, it's what we do. That's how it's done. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I have wanted this pattern forever. I have loved it forever. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Fractor Flowers, here it is. Mm -hmm. La di da, Fractor Flowers. Love, love, love this. Sorry for the glare. Love those colors. Beautiful. Um, and I've wanted to stitch it forever. So I actually, I had all the DMCs mm -hmm. in with it too at Christmas time. And everyone was doing a big like, ooh, it's leap year. Let's do a start for leap year. And I was looking at Instagram and getting like all like, I don't want to be left out. <laughs> Fear of missing out. And so um, I wanted to start it, but I didn't want to do the whole, like, let's choose a really ginormous piece and work on it for the next four years. Because I just don't do rules very well when it comes to stitching. I don't like rules. I just want to enjoy mm -hmm. stitching. So I picked Fractor Flowers, and I was loving it so much, I kind of just stitched it till I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> so the blossoms on this is so Aren't they amazing. just cool? Mm -hmm. They're so cool. Yep. I'm sorry for the wrinkles. I'm sorry. But this this fabric is so cool too. This is, I'm pretty sure this is an Xjude fabric. Um, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember what it's called, but I love it. This is a 40 count, um, so pretty. And I changed the red. Um, the call for is more of this kind of a, kind of a dusty, it's almost, it's kind of a brown tone. It is brown. Yeah, it's kind of a... Like a purple brown. Yeah, almost. kind of a pinky brown or a... Yeah, and I just... I wanted mine to be more red. The color that's called for, I think it was um, rosewood. Oh, I do know what this... This is x -Jude Brown Smoke. I do have it written down. Brown Smoke, coolest fabric, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. I just... I am in love with x -Jude fabric. It is beautiful. And very lovely to stitch on. So, yes, this is all DMC called for except for um, the red. Yeah, I changed it to 3721 instead of this is 3858, which was called for. I think it was called Rosewood. And I was like, and that would be beautiful is, too. It would. It would be. It would it, be no beautiful. question. Mm -hmm. But with the jewel tones in this, I was just like, oh, I just want it to be a little more rosy than woody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, thirty-seven twenty-one. It was so. Mm -hmm. There it is. Love it. So thrilled with that finish. It was really fun to stitch. So, you should totally do it too. And then one of my birthday starts, mm -hmm. which I finished. So now you have one down, four to go. Yes. So exciting. I had I. Well, you know, I love every blackbird. But this one I felt like was a perfect one for my birthday because it's called Pleasure of the Fleeting Year. And my birthday is on December 31st. <laughs> so the year is very fleeting because the next day is going to be a brand new year. Right. So I thought it was so fitting. So here's Pleasure of the Fleeting Year. Love the peacock. Love the blues in this one. So pretty. Um, I stitched it on a mystery fabric. I think it's a 36 count. 
um, but mm -hmm. I have no idea what it is. Um, but it it's just, over dyed. It is. It is an over dye. It is. It was kind of a, a game that we played with some friends at a retreat last year. And I got this piece of fabric and was like, oh, this looks perfect for this. So, okay, I know I'm really close to the edge here, but I wasn't sure how much. I wasn't sure on count and I wasn't sure how much space I would have. And so I was a little nervous. I could have gone down further, but whatever. It'll be fine. We'll make it work. But there's my finish. Yay. Isn't that beautiful? The snow, just so you know, the snow, the called for color was the same color as the house. And I just felt like that was going to be yellow. Well, it, yellow. Yeah, it, and it blended right into your fabric yeah, color. Yeah, right? But it, mm -hmm. yeah, yellow snow. You know what that means. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. So I picked Ecru and I just grabbed some DMC Ecru and did the snow. Mm -hmm. And I also added a little bit around the trees because you can tell it's like melting the snow. Mm -hmm. It always gathers around the trunk of a tree too. So, so yeah, I had started the snowflakes in the beige and then was like, Nee, let's switch over to yeah. Ecru. And I didn't want to tear it out. So it's fine. Beautiful. All Love right. it. So that's the finishes we have today. <laughs> yes. But hey, but serious we, progress on my whips, I'm telling you. We've got some whips going we do. on. We're whipping. Right. <laughs> one of the whips that you have yes. is Oh Joyous Day. That is one of my birthday starts. One of her birthday starts. And I decided to also start it. And you'll see how different they are. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. So here's mine on... Clearly, I haven't cut this fabric because I've got a wad of it <laughs> here. You do have I do. A, it's a lot. I think it's a yard. some folds back here. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> navy bean. Yeah. It's um, lakeside. lakeside linens. Navy bean. So 40 here's count. my 40 counts. Mm -hmm. I love it. Isn't that pretty? And then I am using Ooh. a 36 count picture of this plus legacy. Mm. Which is also beautiful. But when you look at them together, oh, yeah. mine is considerably bigger. <laughs> I'm trying to hold the <laughs> See, Plenty to dab my you eyes. You can see. Yeah. The size difference. Uh -oh. But no, this has been fun. Way. It's been really it's nice. Stitch. Every time we have a birthday to focus on blackbirds because it kind of justifies my investment in all the patterns. Because we have tons. And it's easy, too, to say, okay, let's look at these two files. For me, it's two files. Let's just focus on these files and see what we're going to do. Like this birthday, um, I did three starts. I don't know why three. but Oh, this year. This yeah, year. For this you, year. Yes, because Anita just had a birthday in May. Mm -hmm. And last or year. Or this month. Yeah. So last year, six was a, a little bit much. <laughs> I'd say five is a little bit much. Well, you're, but... using, you're doing much bigger ones. At the time, I was like, mm, six? <laughs> We're going with those little small pillows, right. man. <laughs> well, clearly, I have finished the smallest one, I think. I have. Oh. Got finished first. I was booking it because I wanted to show you a finish today of that. So, uh, this, is one of, uh, this is one of my birthday whips, the simple things. From this year. From this year, yep, mm -hmm. and there, there it is. And I started that with her. Yep. And yep. here's mine. <laughs> That's what I've gotten done. Because yeah. I'm still in the land of working on my... So I started this on Anita's birthday. Because mm -hmm. um, I wanted to start it on her birthday. So I did, but yeah. And then this is one of my that. starts. But I only have a little bit of the zigzag, so it's not, I'm not going to share it. <laughs> and then the third, one, two, and then my third birthday start from this year is Stars and Stripes. Mm -hmm. And, well. It's really pretty. I'm using the color Freedom mm. and Old Red Paint. Are they both? I don't know what the companies are. <laughs> So this is the project I it's will be taking art. to um, Oregon with me because it's it's an easy stitch. There's no color changes. Well, one once in a while, and then uh, it just 
it just flows really easily. And so. easy to see with your eyes mm -hmm. without magnification. Yeah, I don't need mag magnification for this one. And what fabric is that? 36 count flax. Eyes white art. Very pretty. I love it. Mm -hmm. So, and then I only have one other whip that I brought. Mm -hmm. It's ink it's circles. Cool. Hey, Hmm. Hey, Diddle. <laughs> I love that because, okay, this is totally off topic, but I always call, well, like, uh, for some reason, my, my son, I will have called him Snickerdoodle over the oh. years. And so sometimes I'll shorten it and say, hey, Doodle. <laughs> so, hey, Diddle makes me think of hey, Doodle. And that that's just where I'm at. So, oh, oh, I started it uh, during the eclipse and chose it because of the moon. And I haven't made too much progress because it was a case of out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Like I put it away and completely forgot about it. And I came across it a couple days ago and I have no idea where the floss colors are <laughs> that I pulled for it. Like there should be a little ring. Yeah. With this. You're on the hunt. <laughs> it's, it's not anywhere like yeah Vanish. but it is back on my table next to me so it is getting the attention this should have been done but like i said forgot about it well that's Just okay we, there's been a lot of a lot of stuff on the brain <laughs> yeah that i helps. need to check this every day <laughs> that's a good plan Keep you focused. Oh, so what are, you have some Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of progress. So I feel really proud of what I have to show mm -hmm. you. Um, first of all, why do I not remember the name of this one? Rosewood Manor. Mm -hmm. Rosewood Manor? No, that's the designer. <laughs> Winter Manor. No. Winter Manor? Winter Rose Manor? Okay, I think you all will know what this pattern is called. <laughs> with my needle and thread. I don't mm -hmm. have my pattern with me. I just kind of grabbed this really fast. Because I started this after, I'm pretty sure it was after we last taped. Um, because it was December. And I was like, I really need to start this because <laughs> I knew I wanted this. The light of winter. And I couldn't start the light of winter. Until I'd finished this one, because they're companions. Because we've had this. I've for had this forever. A few years, and I've yeah. been so in love with it. So here we go. Look at all that progress. Look at that! Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, the colors mm. are just. This was super fun to work on. So mm -hmm. I would love to get back to this eventually. <laughs> I gotta focus on those birthday finishes first. Um, right? But it's this a is stressful, isn't it? It when is <laughs> when you have that many. Holy cow! I'm like really pushing myself. Um, but this one is. Um, did I say 36 count chai? I think. Yes, it's so pretty. 36 count it chai. Perfect. It's it's perfect for this. There's um, like a little by pink seraphim undertone to it, mm -hmm. but it it lends itself so well to to the reds in in the yeah. pattern it's yeah beautiful. it's so i love beautiful. it i love it so i hope to get back to that it's just such a sweet dainty piece um and so then... should i hold your other one until you finish it <laughs> <laughs> promise i won't start it until this one's done it's it's a rule that's a rule i can stick with that's a rule i can stick with Oh, this one is so great. So this I'm... one is so nice. <laughs> I don't even think this one was on your radar mm -hmm. until you saw me. So just so I got Not on my radar. super excited when Peppermint and Holly came out because hello, my name. I love everything Holly. <laughs> and um, this this was like a unicorn for me. So I was so grateful when Alma reprinted this. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, thank you. So. My favorite piece in this one is this one. It's called Greetings. Um, and it's it's it just has such an old-fashioned mm -hmm. look to it. Um, that just kind of antique -y look to it. I just love it. Let me so. see the... I have this. Um, Pepper it, it, Yeah, I've had it for years. But... Oh, that one there. So, uh, yeah. That's been a good one. Oh, yeah. 
So mm -hmm. I am stitching this on Seraphim also, oh. 40 count caramel. Oh, wait for this one. <laughs> yep, there it is. I'm so close. I'm mm -hmm. so close. There's, you know, there's some left. It's but It's so pretty. It is so pretty. I love it. I love, love, love it. All the called for colors. The colors are amazing. Yeah, I think it looks great on this caramel, so... That's been super fun. Mm -hmm. So that, and then um, another birthday start. A Heart Remembers. I've had this kitted for a, as long as this book has been mm -hmm. out because this pattern just had my heart. Mm -hmm. Just, mm, yeah, so, so beautiful. And of course this book came out, um, the book is also called A Heart Remembers and it came out after Barb had passed away. And um, yeah, it was just, it's just a meaningful, I feel like it's just such a meaningful book, you know, as we were mourning the loss of Barb from Blackbird Designs. And um, yeah, it, it was just a sweet tribute to remember her. And I've wanted to stitch it forever and the colors are amazing. So without further ado, mm -hmm. here's how far I am. <clears throat> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Those colors are just amazing. Um, and this is on um, 40 Count Light Driftwood by um, XU. It's really pretty on this fabric. It's mm -hmm. just got a nice vintage -y feel to it. I like that teal, the dark teal. That right? It looks so tealy. And you know mm -hmm. what that is? That is Stormy Night. Wow. By um, Classic Color Works. And you would never guess mm -mm. that it would be that tealy you think it'd greeny. Be gray. Stormy yeah, night. Stormy Night looks blue and gray, but you stitch it on here and it looks like this kind of tealy green mm -hmm. color. I just, I am in love with it. Bravo to Alma for her color choices. Mm -hmm. Super amazing. So there's that one. And then my last. Something less. Blackbird. I was going to say a lot of times um, the patterns, this one doesn't, a lot of times the older Blackbirds will have the DMC conversion uh, and I will go ahead and pull the DMC oh, no. because to compare it to like today's over dyed threads and I often do changes based on the DMC that they had selected when the pattern was done 15 years ago and whenever and um and that has for me has been a very helpful thing to do and sometimes the colors are very different <laughs> very different and so and I, I do tend to go with the dmc that they recommended mm. but i converted over to no Bernard. yeah and a lot of times too i will um Sometimes I change things based on the picture on the cover mm -hmm. because I like how that looks. And if right. I pull the colors and they don't look the way the cover does, then mm -hmm. I want to change it to look like the cover because that's what I fell in love with to mm -hmm. begin with. So. A lot of times the fabric is so different. Yeah. And I think when they do the photos, they lighten it up. Uh, because I've had times where I'll pull the fabric and go, no, that that's not even close. And so then I'll use the photo on the front to match up my fabric color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the final birthday start. I believe, yes. Mm. What, my final Blackbird Designs birthday start. This one's called Friendship Gathering. I'm sorry, I don't have the okay. picture to show you. I just have my working copy um, tucked in my project bag. I forgot to grab it. But um, this is from, what is the book? From Blackbird, it's old and you can't get it. Um, I can't remember, but you'll recognize it when you see it because it's on the cover. It's so pretty. It's called mm -hmm. Friendship Gathering. I am just in love with those big, beautiful flowers. And this is called Four Colors. This is 36 count aged paper by Color and Cotton. So that's how far I've gotten oh, on that one. What is the name of that book? I know. That's just going to drive me crazy. A fine collection. That's what it's called. A fine, a fine collection. collection. That's what it is. All of a sudden it hit me. So yeah, so pretty. I just, oof, oof, oof. Love, love, love it. And then I have a couple more. And one of them's 
one that you've started also. Yep. Was it for your was it for your birthday? What did we pick this mm. one for? Mayday? <laughs> it wasn't my birthday because it, it's not a it's not a blackbird. No, but it was one that we both had that we were excited to start. I think Mayday. First day of May. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mayday? Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're right. I think it was a May 1st start. And it was because um, I think what brought it to our attention is that our friend Lisa Smith, um, Kindred Stitcher, was getting ready to start this one. And we were mm -hmm. like, oh, we have that. And we, we have loved that forever. We've had it for a long time. We've had it for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's from the Scarlet House. It's called Good Company. Mm hmm. We love this piece so much. We are ocean lovers. Mm -hmm. And this just, uh, there are so many things about this that we're in love with. Mm -hmm. We're going to change it a little bit though. So the verse, the existing verse says, she lives on a hill overlooking the sea with only her dogs for good company. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need less. She doesn't need more than to hear the waves crash into the shore. Mm -hmm. We love dogs. <laughs> Yes. We truly, just saying, we love dogs. But if we were going to live on a hill overlooking the sea, then we would want to be with our true loves. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're going to change it. To... She lives on a hill overlooking the sea with only her true love. With her true love. For yeah. good for good company. Uh -huh. With her true love. Yeah. So we're going to add a little man next to her by the house. Yeah, I bought this pattern originally because it does remind me so much of my parents' house yeah. in Oregon. Yeah. Just a lot of uh, meaning for me. And yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. So I've got the border, the, mm -hmm. the, the three, three um, sides of that top border all mm -hmm. done, except for the very center. I need to add in the, um, the, um, eggshell or oatmeal or whatever I decide to put in the center but that is a lot of stitching I'm just gonna tell well, you and, and what's a lot of stitches if you if you look at it that's the entire size of the pattern and I'm always such a bad judge of pattern <laughs> sizes because I truly thought it was gonna be twice as big yeah and when uh it's not no it's, it's small and so when it first said you know what size fabric you needed and I measured it out and I'm like that can't be right <laughs> like no <laughs> and so yeah I don't cut my fabric either until I know yeah you know I didn't cut it down. until I had gotten mm -hmm. it all stitched there and then I was like mm -hmm. okay we're good now yeah so yeah that's that's where yep. I'm at with this one and I feel really good about that so that was a yep. May 1st that's start true that. love yep her true love and then the little man yeah, we need a little man. <laughs> so we'll add a little man for our true love. Hey, you've been to my parents' house. I have. Um, that was a really mm -hmm. special, a special trip. trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and I have one more start. I started it last night, mm -hmm. and I love it. So this one, I had no idea people were, like, totally stitching oh. this one. Like, a lot of people are working on this. Had no clue. And I don't know if it's just I hadn't paid attention before, but, okay, so the last time we were at this, no, two times ago when we were at the Stitchery Nook, she comes over with this pattern, and I was like, no, put it back. <laughs> I was like, yes, I was so like, get oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's look at this stitch count. Ooh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad she does have it. <laughs> Because I told her the sentimentality for me. Right. So I'm not stitching this because the world is stitching it. I I have a totally different reason. But anyway, let me show you what it is. It's about 1,000 by 500. <laughs> <laughs> it is 300 and something by 200 and something. Ooh. Barbara Anna, all creatures great and small. Ooh, I'm sure you've seen this recently. It's There's beautiful. a lot of people who have either stitched, finished it recently or mm -hmm. are working on it now. Um, I didn't have a clue. It's beautiful. There it is. And the reason that I chose to stitch this is because my husband is currently reading the series, All Creatures Great and Small. And so he'll usually be sitting in the chair next to me reading that series while I'm stitching. And I thought... This would be just a really sweet way to 
share in that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And two, like my father, my husband has not been a huge reader over the years, but he's really enjoying the series. My father-in-law, several years ago, my son is 20 now. Um, he was like probably a year and a half. My father-in-law, my husband's father, started reading this series. Um, and I was just talking with him about it last night because it was so delightful. It spurred on um, a love of reading for my father-in-law back at that time. And he, we were on a vacation together and he would read parts of it and he would laugh until he cried. Um, and he told me last night, he's like, I could have written that series mm -hmm. because I experienced so much of what happened. If you don't know, um, the author is James Harriet, and, um, he was a veterinarian back, shoot, like 1930s, 1940s and beyond. Um, he was a, a veterinarian in, um, England, I believe. And he just tells all of these, like stories, farm animals, and all kinds of, you know, out in the country animals that he had to help who were sick or birthing or whatever. And my father-in-law grew up on a farm. And so he just, he's like, I could have written this book. I've experienced so much of this. Um, but yeah. The, uh, the pattern is small. I... It's actually bigger than this. Like the, the, the she, Barbara Anna is so great about, um, when she puts a pattern together, she will give you kind of like a color version. Okay, that's so a little, that's is... shrunk down a little bit, but a then little? she also, <laughs> but then uh, she on also, this sheet of paper on the back, it's more than half of the entire design. Yeah. It's, it is tiny. It is. But then she also, um, zooms in and gives it. you like a black and white copy that's bigger <laughs> with more pages. So I'm using the black and white okay. copy because my <laughs> eyes are not good. Ooh, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That, that's the difference 10 years makes right there. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, Ooh. here's the pattern again. It's Just beautiful. It's it is so absolutely beautiful. Pretty. And some people are not doing the border, but I like the border. So I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of stitches in that border too. But I just started this last night. Now this is on um, Picture This Plus Heartland, um, 40 count. Um, it was a little. It was Anita's fabric, oh. and she <laughs> gave it to me. Bless her heart, because it was too tiny for her. It actually measures out closer to like a 43, 44 count. And I trust me, I've done. I work with for uh, Picture This Plus 40 count. But for some reason, the modeling, something just did not feel comfortable to me. And then here, oh, no <laughs> here problem. I am. Well, that's no problem because I'm using magnification. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> Makes a world of difference. Me too. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so I feel really great with that start. I just did that last night. It's really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. Just called for DMC. Mm -hmm. And it's lovely. I love it. The colors are yeah. really, really pretty. The colors are stunning. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be fun to watch that progress too. So there you have it. That's what I've been stitching on. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Yeah. And then I started Anita's um, project, her birthday start. Did I show that when... Um, oh yeah, you showed oh, yours. I'm not sure. You have sure. it on another piece of fabric. I have it on <laughs> on the bottom of this. The simple things of the um, the light driftwood mm -hmm. I, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Here's yeah. here's my teeny tiny start of Anita's um, Blackbird Designs mm -hmm. birthday start. Just that teeny bit. So, oh yeah, because I said I wanted to start it on her birthday. And that's it for the whips. That's it. <laughs> that's a lot of stitching. I'm, so see, I've been busy, even though you haven't seen it on Instagram. I'll so, I'm sorry. So be uh, before we get into our haul, let's talk about plans. Yeah. So, I'm Oregon bound. <laughs> uh, I don't have, tentatively, I don't have any new starts planned. Do we? I do. Mm-hmm. Mm Mm. Oh, mm. Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. So there is a stitch along Hollis Hands Creates. Mm -hmm. Highlighted it on her latest Floss video. And uh, you pick a project that you start 
Memorial Day and finish by Labor Day. And I pulled a stack of the ones that I'm like, oh, this would be fun. Oh, this would be good. This would be good. And I'm taking it over to my daughter and I'm just going to say, hey, pick one for me because I can't, I can't decide. <laughs> so yes, there is a new start. Yes. I decided I wanted to start something for Memorial Day, but I, you know, rules. I can't hold myself to that Labor Day finish because I have so many birthday finish. I need to get those other four. Mm -hmm. I will feel better when those are complete mm -hmm. um, to work on other things. But those really have to be my focus, even though I know I just started all things great and small. <laughs> that ginormous piece. But that's going to take a while. That's going to take Unless a while. Unless you're going to do a, like monogamous stitching. Right. Even then it's going to take a... Yeah. Ooh. It's going to be a while. It's a while. <laughs> yeah. So that's okay. But those birthday finishes, I, mm -hmm. I want to get done before the end of the year. So they'll be my focus. But oh my goodness, this pattern, I have, I wanted this the second I yep. laid eyes on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was thrilled that it was released um, for market. Um, this is American Welcome by Plum Street. So love this. Um, I do not have the color and cotton um, threads. So I did the... Um, Fancy floss conversion, and then also all the DMCs. So mm -hmm. I've got it kitted up and ready to go, and I've I've just been desperate to start it. So I was like, ah, Memorial Day, perfect mm -hmm. time to just yep. get my hands on it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. But I don't plan to have that finished by Labor Day. I don't expect it. Let's okay. put it that way. It'd and be then, nice. But. Uh, the other one, I want to do a quick shout out. Uh, if you will go to the websites of Welcome Stitchery in Blue Earth. And, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Minnesota. <laughs> and um, the Stitchery Nook in Osage, Iowa. Um, <laughs> they both have events coming up that look like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Just really, um, I, I would go check them out and uh, see see what they're up to because this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Did yeah. you have any, we have some things to share too, before we um, finish out. Did you want to share a little haul? Well, I was going to leave that to at the end in case people yeah. aren't interested yep, in the gotcha. haul. Okay. Can, they Just can wanted go. to make sure we were mm -hmm. planning to do that. So we wanted to give a shout out. We visited the Stitchery Nook. You know, we love it there. It's our home away from home. I can't remember when it was. Was it April? I think. Um, I think it was April. Is we come to me. <laughs> we went to the Stitchery Nook. They were having a was someone having a retreat or was it just a Stitchery Nook retreat? I think it was just an open like an open retreat, stitching maybe? retreat, mm -hmm. which they are now starting to host again. Yeah, if they have openings, right. they're really busy, which right. is great. We're thrilled about that for them. Mm -hmm. um, but there were some gals there, and so we wanted to go up and meet them, and we got to meet some really sweetheart oh, gals. Right. We met Diane. Um, I got to sit and stitch with Charlotte. Um, we met Gailene, and I believe her friend's name was Sandy. They were from Illinois. Mm -hmm. Just such sweetheart They're gals. So they were people. so kind. Um, yeah, there were several others as well. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to shout out Diane's channel. She mm -hmm. has um, a channel on YouTube. It's b.a.blessingstitcher. So it's B.A. Blessing Stitcher. Um, so go check her out. She's such mm -hmm. a sweetheart. Yeah. And it's nice because she did a walkthrough of the Stitchery Nook mm -hmm. um, beforehand at the beginning of her video. And just delightful. Yeah. Just delightful. She's she's lovely. She's like one of those people you meet and you're like, oh, we could be besties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I love that. Is there anything else before the haul? No. I don't think so. Okay. So, uh... If, if you're not interested in the haul, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, but we do have a bit to share. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We've collected we a few things a over these months. And I, I brought over probably most of it. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. All right. So I'm going to start first with like, like an odd assortment of <laughs> Everybody knows I like Ort containers. I, I don't think I shared this one. I don't think so. But Central Perk. <laughs> and that's the 
cutest. Cutest. Oh. Little like a coffee pot. Mm -hmm. And then I found this pendant. Mm. And it's actually a um, locket. But look at the stitching on there. Oh, I love it. Yep, found that uh, while thrifting in Osage. So beautiful. And then when I was down in Texas, I'd gone to an estate sale and I found these really cute um, kitchen towels on toweling. And so there's one. And I know how toweling has become so popular recently in the stitching community. But I thought that was really lovely. Mm -hmm. The Stitchery Nook has a huge selection of toweling. Yeah, they do. I, I was surprised. It was mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. And, and then, banding, too. They have a lot and, of banding. Oh, yeah. And a lot of banding. And then this one, look at the, the toweling edge on this. And then <laughs> there... So I'm I'm thinking that they took the original pattern and added the cross stitching and then the zigzag at the bottom maybe, but I thought that was really sweet. Yeah. So that's that's my uh, unique finds that are stitchy related. <laughs> Do you have any like? Um, I well I guess I could share. Um, I found this. I mean, okay, so I don't, I'm not a quilter at all, but I thought this was absolutely amazing. This is a Sweetheart Runner pattern with all of the fabric. Mm -hmm. I found this at um, Goodwill um, in Waverly for $3.99. So I was, mm -hmm. <laughs> my mom was like, what are you doing? <laughs> She knows I don't sew, but I was like, Mom, for the fabric alone, all of this fabric, except for like if you want to try out quilting, this is perfect. Like, I always thought I'd be the quilting Grammy, and then all of a sudden, I had to do a, a baby quilt. <laughs> it's a pricey little endeavor. <laughs> like, I should have done a couple like practice runs before I took on the blanket. But, uh, yeah, it's a great way, I think, to, yeah. to uh, just Toad try it. it out. Yeah. 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 Like so we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> I, we have a very old sewing machine that was just gifted to us that, yeah, my husband's been trying to figure out in order to um, hem his jeans and stuff because he has short little legs. <laughs> oh. So he's kind of, it's been a learning curve and I'm like, oh, I need something really user friendly, like mm -hmm. just a simple sewing machine that's super user friendly that I can stitch stuff up with. Oh, so. here. I'm going to share these two stitchy items too oh, yeah. for my birthday and amongst the gifts, Holly gave me, look at this tin. <laughs> look at this tin. It and just that, goes so well with, with your coffee bar theme of, right? Look for the that. future. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's just perfect. The design just wraps all the way around. Completely different all the way around. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? And I loved the the unusual shape of the lid. You know, like uh -huh. it's... It's indented yeah. around the edge. But that that is going to be a lot of fun. And then she also found this book by... Uh, if you say... It, you, Jana Hawshields Lindbergh. Lindbergh. It's um, an older book. Uh, counted cross stitch designs for all seasons, and she's from Copenhagen. So that is really uh, beautiful, beautiful designs in there. That's right up my. That's what I like. Yeah, <laughs> right yeah. Here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I love I love looking for Scandinavian stuff because I just you know. My heart, They're knowing just, that Anita is from Sweden, her fa you know, mm -hmm. her family's from Sweden. Just so. unique. Yeah. So there's an example of some of the designs. And the book is old enough that the designs are hand drawn, mm -hmm. you know, and so before, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's exciting. This is yeah. exciting. Yep. I thought that was a treasure. All right, so now we can go on to the patterns. All right. Okay, I didn't bring any of my fabric purchases. I no. didn't bring any of my threads. No. I just have patterns. Yes. Because I needed them. <laughs> I need, I need all, all of, of course we 
we do, right? Actually, I just started <laughs> cleaning out my files. I've got <laughs> files in, in uh, two like little boxes of the patterns that I've done. And I don't know what to do with them. Like, maybe I just need to have a third place to put, like, once I finish a design, just pop it in there. Yeah. But uh, it, it appears I, I'm replenishing pretty quickly, though, <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's hard no not rest to for collect. the <laughs> It's hard not to collect. So we see. love them all. Yeah, okay. Love look. them all. Did you want to go or do you want I, me to go? Go for it. Okay. You're on a roll. So I love it. My future coffee bar <laughs> and the house I build around the coffee bar. Because <laughs> it's, it's a big focus. It's a focus. Right. So, That's uh, so No Hill just came out with this sweet design. And I just love everything about it. That's darling. The artsy housewife. She oh. knows me. Right? <laughs> she. Love these. Mm, 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 mm. So you got this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and on 40 count, this is only about four and a half inches square. So cute. So, yeah. And so the companion for that is gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, I had to Oh do my it. goodness, yes. I had when to those do came out, we were both just gaga. I couldn't wait. I couldn't <laughs> wait. Let me go through, see if I have any more coffee ones. Nope. Hmm. Okay. That's it for the coffee ones. Um uh um, Amanda, the Alba Stitcher is having a stitch along of thistles, <clears throat> which is the national flower of Scotland. And I believe. And uh, I thought a thistle. Like, I, I'm not going to find anything with thistles. I did. <laughs> I found quite a few. But I have not seen this one. And the design is just so super sweet. Yeah. And it's called Thistle Do. Get it? Thistle. Thistle, thistle Do. <laughs> and it's by Ink Circles. And it's right there on this side. Just a small, small design. Uh, on 30, it's 53 by 129. So it's just this part right here. So joining in on that. Uh oh, another start. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Had to do this. The oh, Grand yes. Old Flag by Brenda Gervais. I couldn't get this fast enough. Yeah. So one of my trips to Citrina said, coming home. We talked about how this is such a great companion yeah. to the other one that she's put out that has that you've has that you've the done. Well, I'm still working on it, but yeah, the one in the middle, yeah, mm -hmm. super cool. Stars and stripes. Um, Milk thread has a series of states, and I don't know. I love doing stuff about Texas now, <laughs> and so this is the Texas design. So that looks like an evening. You know, so just got to get it done before I go to Texas again. Uh, I, I go, uh, our plan now is to go to Texas a few times a year mm -hmm. because one of my kids lives there. And um, it's a lot to always ask them to come home. Mm -hmm. And there's so much to do there. It's just, it's just like a playground for, <laughs> it's just so much fun. And so the last time my husband and I were there, we're like, okay, we're going to, you know, what are we doing next month? And my son's like, wait a minute. <laughs> he's so good he takes time off and he Aww. spends time with us and makes reservations and you know even when he's working he is very good about like giving us links to things that we could do places to go so it's just it's just lovely Anita has the sweetest kids ever like <laughs> I, I want to adopt them all <laughs> I just want you to know, like when she, yeah, I love, love, love her they're kids. Amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. She has two sons and a daughter and I love them all like they're my own. Yeah. And I'm not old enough to be their mom, but I love them. Oh. <laughs> I um, do. I found this in the clearance section at 123 Stitch. And here is by Clart. K-L-A-R-T, never heard of the brand, but I love the design. I've actually already stitched a design of this particular subject matter. <laughs> I know. Everybody's probably I wondering, know. what is it? <laughs> so here in the U USA, we, we call them cloudberries. 
and they grow in the wild in northern Sweden and uh, kind of hard to find. It's oh. so, similar to uh, the morel mushrooms. Uh -huh. Like when people find a patch of them, they keep it secret. Like they're not going to share out where they find them. And we uh, call them utron. So um, this is so pretty. And it comes with everything. It comes with an Ada and all the fat, all the thread in it. That's so cool. So, where did yeah. you find this again? One, two, three in the oh my goodness. section. What? Yeah. I, I don't even know how I came across it. That's but amazing. But I'm so excited about this one. Um, yeah, sometimes because my mom is Swedish, uh -huh. and um, so I kind of grew up with this combination of languages, you know, and one of the funny stories we have was my, when my husband and I were first married, I always have a dish that I make during the holidays, especially Christmas, and so he says, he says okay, I'll go to the store, you know, because you just stay put, because at the time I was expecting and so I gave him a list, and it included Sil, S-I-L. Okay, so um, he went to the store, and he looked everywhere for the Sil. He asked the person at the meat counter, <laughs> everything. He came back. He says, I am sorry. We we don't have Sil. <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing in the United States. I said, I know there's Sil, because, you know, we have it every year. Yeah, it's herring. <laughs> Herring. And when I first found out, I'm like, herring? Who calls it herring? <laughs> well, we do now. So, People in America call it herring. Yeah. Pickled herring. Yeah. Pickled herring. Who knew? Yeah. I so, knew. Now we know sill. So, yeah. <laughs> Cloudberries. So, very cool. Mm -hmm. They make a really nice jam. At once in a while, you can get the jam at IKEA. Oh. Cloudberry jam. It's a little bit pricey. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, but it's if they're kind of hard to so find, good. it sounds like it's kind of a rare special thing. And all I do is I just put it on plain old cornflakes. Like, I, it doesn't need anything else. I want the flavor to pop through when I do have it. Jam? Mm-hmm. On cornflakes? Mm-hmm. Like, just dry? Mm-hmm. Cool! I don't know. I it guess sounds I, I guess kind I could of... Put I'm intrigued. I've never heard of jam on, on cereal. I guess I could put it on toast. <laughs> I love that idea. Mm -hmm. So uh, here you? I found from the cross stitch mini patterns um, a mini of Chicago, and that's where my other son lives. And this is itty bitty. This will measure. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even say. Probably like you uh, know, one of those little inchy ones, or it's like mm -hmm. an inch, yeah. two inches. Uh, it's tiny. Uh, Thirty-six by forty-eight. So it's about two by two point stitches. six seven, yeah, stitches. And uh, this sign is from the Chicago Theater that was built in 1921, and that sign is about six stories tall. Isn't that amazing? Oh my word! That's but it'll incredible. Be about that big when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Um, Tara mm -hmm. Sullivan. Yeah, what's her Sully stitches? Is that her website? Her Instagram? Everybody knows Tara. <laughs> so anyway, maybe it was we a birthday Tara. start or something. She did Vibrant Flowers uh, by Kathy Barrick. I was like, I love it. I love <laughs> the blooms. Everyone is kind of wonky and a little bit different. And she got it done like, like this. And <laughs> I got it purchased. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a kid, but everyone knows this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It is really pretty. It is just beautiful. So I'm excited. We about love the that. variety of flowers, you mm -hmm. know, the variety of blooms on there are just so cool. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for Christmas, Holly had found this eight cross stitch designs by Lori of La Di Da. Eight patterns. In this booklet by yeah. Leisure Arts. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't that cool? That is super cool. Yeah. And then my final uh, find, which it's it's unique. Mm, I love it. So Pam, I just keep stitching, had shared a pant pattern by Wendy W. H. Howe. And I thought, oh, that's really sweet. And I think it was maybe of Cape Cod or something. 
And I definitely have family roots on the East Coast in Maine. And Same as Pam. Mm -hmm. We've often talked about how Anita and Pam have to somehow be related. <laughs> they, they have to be related. There's well, got to be. Well, one of my relatives is a good friend of hers. Yeah. <laughs> So like, so cool. you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. But I, so anyway, she had shared a pattern and I thought, oh, I need to look up Wendy Howe. And I found this geometric lobster. And again, the design is all hand, you know, she had sat in every square. She had, she hand drawn. had hand drawn it. I don't see a year on it, but let's just go with, it's been a while. She must be from Maine. Booth Bay Haba. <laughs> Love it. Can't get any more Maine than that. <laughs> she was the owner of the point of it in Booth Bay. So, yeah. So here's the, oh, that might not come through. Ooh, yeah, the closer you get, the better. Go a little further. Yeah, that is so cool. So it's a geometric lobster. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. And the colors, um, it's, shoo. Yeah, not too much information here, I don't think. Oh, 145 by 60, 67 stitches. 145 by 67, and it only has one, two, three, six DMC colors. That's fun. So, yeah. That's that going to be a sweet stitch. I'm excited. <laughs> I okay. can see you starting that this summer. And that's it for me. That's what I brought. <laughs> that's a little bit I can, I can think of a couple more things, but another day. Yeah. I have quite a pile over here. <laughs> I already showed you the light of winter that I had to get this because it's the companion to the one I started. Love it. I'll hold that. Thank you. <laughs> um, <No. laughs> moments of glad grace. I had to get mm -hmm. this blackbird. Of the ones that, that um, were released, this one is my favorite for that wonky bird down here. I am in love with mm -hmm. him, but I love this whole pattern. And honestly, instead of the words that Wait, are is written. Is that the Roadrunner? Yeah. Oh, he's on the so back. cool. It, it, on the back. He's got the Roadrunner yeah. like front and center. Right? He is cool. I think it's a Roadrunner. He's cool. Whatever yes. he is, I'm in love with him. So I plan to put the words moments of glad grace here. Mm, I just think pretty. that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I that's what I want. That's mm -hmm. what I want the words to say. Oh, there's another design with the toweling. And the colors so are gorgeous. Pretty. Oh, yeah. And then. Look she separated a few of the motifs, so, but yeah, amazing. isn't that pretty? And I think I have that telling, so very cool. <sighs> Love that. I think it's called enabling, right? I think I'm being enabled. Totally. I did not see the Roadrunner turkey hen <laughs> wonky bird. Killing me, girl. It's a real, I don't know. I know. I love him. He's just so cool. Mm -hmm. Love him. This I've been in love with from day one, and um, Anita loved it too. And in fact, she loved it so much <laughs> she bought it twice. And I hadn't purchased mine yet, so she gifted it to me, yeah. <laughs> which I'm so grateful for for Christmas. And so here is At Home by Brenda Gervais. Isn't that just stunning? Mm -hmm. Oh, in love. Um, we love that there are robins mm -hmm. in the on the top of the house. Yeah, you can Anita's barely saying, see them. But they are robins. And I remember the first time I saw this pattern here, I'll show you the color. And the, the stitcher stitched it and said, I have no idea where that blue goes. <laughs> like, And she's looking at the, we're looking at the design and we're like, where is that blue? <laughs> Yeah, there's a little itty bitty nest at the top with a couple stitches that represent the eggs. <laughs> That's where that, so that because it is such a vibrant color. It like is, you're it like, was. where and, is that at? We're like, that must be misprint. Like you could not <laughs> figure out where that blue went. And then as soon as you saw it, you're like, yep. Yeah, the I robins, the I robin eggs. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a ton of floss shoved back in here. I got this ready to roll because we are totally stitching mm -hmm. this. Love it. A um, couple of Christmas gifts. Um, another Lottie Da. I have really loved this one and I love the colors. This is Auspicious Hope. I just think that's beautiful. You got beautiful. that pretty much kitted. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've got most of the colors for that already um, shoved in here. So that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And also for Pretty Bird um, by the Artsy Housewife because I've wanted that since the get-go as well. Mm -hmm. I just think that's awesome. What do, who doesn't love a pretty bird? And it's pretty. Um, and then... And I love wonky birds. What? There was a pattern I did years ago and I kept calling it the wonky bird and I still don't know what the pattern is called. <laughs> because we would just call it the wonky bird. Yes, 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 yes. It's, um... Not forgotten... No, 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 no. It's Linda, Linda Lautenschlager. Tell me, what is her? I'm, oh, Chessie and me. Yes, Chessie and me. That's Wonky Bird, mm -hmm. or what we refer to as Wonky Bird all the time. So, and I then, no idea what I have called. so many things I could show you, but I want to keep it brief. So, I am going to show you. What is it? I don't know. This pattern, I am just in love mm -hmm. with these colors. And I just thought, you know, some of these could just even just be stitched into ornaments. That you wouldn't have mm -hmm. to do the whole kit and caboodle if you didn't want to, but I do. Um, it is so pretty, and so I've kitted this pupper up with all the all the DMCs because I didn't. Know. Have I love the cosmos. mushrooms, right? There's and so the much fox. I love about it. The owl, mm -hmm. the fox. They're oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm in love. So I had to get this. Looks good. Um, <laughs> okay. You know how it is when you see someone finish. I have loved this pattern anyway. It is stunning. But I saw it finished at the Citri Nook. Um, Liz, Liz had right. fra framed it, <laughs> right? And so then that's the beauty of, you know, we mm -hmm. love the Citri Nook. And then we go and we get to see what Liz has worked on for framing. And she does a beautiful job. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this was framed and I was like, oh, yeah, I have to buy that now. So this is Wisdom by Teresa Kogut. So gorgeous. It uh, this this picture does not do it justice. When you see it stitched, you're and just it's all DMC. in heaven. Um, except for two. Yeah. Okay. Um, classic color works old money and weeks. Oh, I love old kudzu, money. Kudzu, kudzu. Um, yeah. And so I've got that all ready to go too. Mm -hmm. Cause whoo, so pretty. I'm just in love with that. I love all money, the floss. I like old money too. <laughs> and new money. Any money, Any really? Money, yeah. <laughs> Coins, bills, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I think oh that's, that's all I'll share today. Oh, one more. When we went to go meet those gals at the Stitchery Duck that were doing just a, you know, stitch in weekend, whatever, mm -hmm. um, I just wanted. Some I got sucked in. I looked at these models and I've always loved them. And I was just like, oh, this would be something fun to just go upstairs and work on while I'm chatting with these gals. Mm -hmm. So I got the evergreen gnome, the Jim Shore. Is he not just the most precious little dude with the birds in his little hat? I just, I can't love him. Mm -hmm. So I did a sweet little, I started that. Yeah, barely, I have a, barely, a but... small bag of the Mill Hill kits mm -hmm. and I find I don't need mag magnification for them. Yeah. So I can be sitting at a park. I can, you know, at my grandson's home, you know, wherever. And, uh, just it, I find it's fun. It's, it's so relaxing. fun. Yeah. And when I first started it, I was thinking three threads, that seems like it's going to be really heavy. And it's not on it the perforated paper. It's perfectly. great. Mm -hmm. it, it looks beautiful. So. It's awesome. The hard part with this one is that there's like four, five, I don't know, different shades of like gray beige. And they're so close together. Mm -hmm. You're like, I have no idea. I, it's you, a guessing game. You have to separate them out. And, the, and even separating them out, you're not sure which one is which. So what I've done <laughs> in tough. the past is, like, I've punched holes on the actual oh, photo. brilliant. And then just hang it right off. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to save it for whatever reason, you could also just get a piece of acid-free yeah. uh, cardstock, maybe, yeah. and do it. Yeah, or note cards like we've done in the past. Um, yeah, but they're so close together. It's really mm -hmm. difficult. You have to have very good lighting. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I think that is it. I think so. Thanks for bearing with us. I know it's mm -hmm. been a long time, so we've had a lot to share, but mm -hmm. we're just so excited to be with you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, just, you know, once in a while, we'll pop up in your feed. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. You know, just right. Once in a while, Thank it'll you just to happen. To our faithful friends <laughs> that still tune in right. when we do pop onto right. your screen, you're so kind. We are yep. so grateful. Thank you. Yep. Very, we live to read your comments. I just want you to know, mm -hmm. I stink at responding, but I live for your comments. And like, I love I'm, responding. <laughs> I know. Anita's better than I. I'm just stink at some of that, but oh golly, do I live to read mm -hmm. your comments. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank I you will, so much. We really, really appreciate it. And just staying with us. Yes. You know, just such a great community and we love being a part of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's all good. It really is. So... Until we see you again, remember, remember <laughs> to, to shine, sparkle, and stitch. Bye, everybody. Bye.